Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, bringing you another exciting opening as we have 2023 Top Series 1 Blasters on deck. These were finally, these have finally been delivered to me from Target. I still have yet to find these in the wild. Uh, I've checked Walmart numerous times and, and some other stores and just haven't found them yet, so... Maybe the retail's a little bit behind, although Target's definitely shipping theirs out because I ordered these on, you know, the day that they came out and they just got to me. So figured I'd bring it to you, open them up, see what's in there, do a little comparison to some of last year's stuff and just kind of go from there because why not? I hope you guys have had the chance to check out my other Top Series 1 videos that have definitely dropped before this uh, jumbo review that I had as well as some hobby packs. If you have not, definitely go back and check those out. And let's see, without further ado, let's get into these. We'll take a look at the blasters and see what they, you know, guarantee you or don't guarantee you, all that kind of good stuff. Now, there is a bit of a rumor that we're going to take a look at here that, if true, is definitely top slash fanatics, you know, headed in the wrong direction, in my opinion. But let's let's pop these open and then we'll kind of get into that that rumor. So these are twenty five dollars. They have gone up the extra five dollars from last year's series one, as you know, pretty much with everything else. So that seems to be the new, you know, kind of normal. Let's get into these. You're still getting the ninety nine cards. I believe that's the exact same from a year ago. So get a massive manufactured relic, same as a year ago, and you know, just see what else they deliver or try to deliver in these blasters. So, man, they have stuff written everywhere. So, to start with, there's your cover guy, J Rod. Look for the brand new Golden Mirror base parallel cards. So there's. Those are difficult to pull. I, believe, I forget if they're super, I think they're super short prints if I'm not mistaken. So they're very difficult to pull. And everything that I've opened so far, I have yet to get one. Uh, seven packs plus one exclusive commemorative patch card. Look at all this information. Collect base cards, one to 330. Look for the colored parallels, rainbow foil, one in 10, royal blue, one in 10, gold sequentially numbered to 2023. Green foil sequentially numbered to 499 and more, including the platinum parallel. They talk about the mirror cards again. There's the insert sets. Not much there. There's your little no purchase necessary if you want to pause and take a look at that. And look at this. There's even stuff written on the inside flap here. Exclusive to this and all value boxes. Guaranteed to include one of 50 different team logo patch cards featuring some of the best Major League Baseball players from all 30 teams. Look for rare and limited parallel logo patch cards to chase, including the blue, which is limited, black to $2.99, gold to $75, red to $10, and platinum to one. Only one in the world. Select players also feature a special autograph version numbered to 10 or less, etc., etc. So tons of stuff. Look at this flap even has. Look for green foil parallels. Got my boy Adley on there. And then they even advertise on this one the heavy lumber cards. So definitely just a ton ton of advertising so let's get right into this right so the main thing that we want to talk about is this right so if we take a look at this see if we can get a focus here the gold cards are one in 99 packs which is what i've kind of heard and now we have i've opened some hobby packs so i got one of those here so a standard hobby pack the gold is one in 33, if you can see that. Kind of hard to get it to focus. But one in 33. And then I even have a jumbo paper here where it says the gold is one in four, which that one doesn't really prove a ton because the jumbo doesn't change all that much. The packs are huge, but so it's essentially twice, what? Uh, two to three times harder to get a gold card in in retail versus hobby so this is this is much different than last year and has less to do with the print runs 
than it does with the fact that it seems like Tops and Fanatics are trying to kind of put the squeeze on their retail customers for some reason. Uh, I certainly hope that's not true, but it certainly seems so. I think we got the Relic in the first pack already. But for those that haven't seen, let's take a look at this first card here. And I've got a base card from last year sitting next to me. And again, you can just see the difference. I did this in a, in a different video as well. And I think that 2023 is just so much more gorgeous. There's more stuff going on. It's just, it's just a nicer product. And we'll take a look at the other retail stuff once we get to it. I have some of that as well to do a bit of a comparison with. So Jonah Brides rookie. I've already put the set together, a little bit of an update. So the Jumbo delivered me an entire set, which is pretty awesome. Definitely look forward to getting one of those kind of for all of the flagship releases for tops. Ryan Servan. And we got a Shohei Otani. That's nice. Followed by Freddie Freeman. Abraham Toro. Willie Adamus. And we've got our O'Neill Cruz Future Stars. And here is our manufactured relic. Milwaukee Brewers Christian Yelich. So this is the manufactured interesting little feel to it, like a hard plastic. So if we compare that to last year's Series 1, eh. I mean, I'm not so sure. I mean, last year I wasn't a big fan. I thought the I thought the numbers were kind of plain, but I mean, to be honest, this year's is is pretty darn plain too. Would have been nice if they found the place uh, a place to put his number at least. I guess maybe that would have would have done something a little better. I do like the picture a little better since it's a little more you know takes up more of the top. But mm, yeah, I don't know. You guys left and let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think that's better or worse? And then here's the next thing we're going to take a look at. Obviously, the stars of MLB have returned. So you have the stars of MLB from last year here on the left and the stars of MLB on the right. And the right is just so much nicer, so much brighter. That's the main thing about the... You know the ones from last year like they did they still had you know the the prism or refractor look to it but the blue and the dark blue and even like the black down towards the bottom just made it look dark and the new ones are white so i mean that's just a better route to go i, I like that i think it's a little more reflective and just a little nicer for sure so well, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think of, you know, this release versus last year's release. Do you think that there is as big a difference as I think? Or, you know, maybe I'm making too much out of nothing. Well, we'll have a little bit of a taste here using these two blasters. Hope for something good. Hope for some kind of parallel, even though it seems like it's going to be extremely difficult to pull one. Max Freed, Carlos Rodon, now with the Yankees, right? Ezekiel Duran. There's Pete Alonzo, which leads to my boy, Adley Rushman, and Aaron Judge. For those that don't know, that is the little secret sequence there. Alonzo, Adley, and Judge. Cal Ripken, 1988. I did pull this previously. And our stars of MLB is Vlad Jr., yeah, those are cool. I think maybe, hopefully, they'll be a little easier to tolerate than the stars of MLB from last year. And I know everybody got tired of them after a while. Myself included. And the other thing that I'm kind of looking forward to these guys, at least personally, is a second Gunner Henderson. So I've gotten duplicates of Adley and duplicates of Kyle Stowers. But I have not gotten a duplicate of Gunnar Henderson, so hoping to get a duplicate of him to add to the rookie box along with the other fellows. You know, whether or not they turn out or not, you know, they're they're Orioles players and you know, obviously I'm an I'm an Orioles guy, so I tend to lean a little more on those guys. Ivan Herrera, Seth Brown, we got Buddy Kennedy, 
Got a home run challenge, Freddie Freeman. And a Javi Baez, Stars of MLB. Quite nice. NL Average Leaders. Reese Lightning. Kenley Jansen. And Yusei Kikuchi. But it's a new year of tops. You know, cannot. I am I'm incredibly happy. And waiting quite some time, as all of you have. To finally open up the new flagship, and it has not disappointed. Stephen Kwan, Danny Jensen, Kyle Farmer, Joan Heim, Greatest Hits, Riley Green. There you go. That's a super nice rookie. We'll put that there. Byron Buxton for our Stars of MLB insert. Arizona Diamondbacks. Angels, Wins Leaders, and Teoscar Hernandez. I got one of those 2022 Greatest Hits of Adley Rushman from my Jumbo Box, so cannot complain there. Trying to get me everything I can of Adley's rookie. <laughs> Every different version or, you know, what have you. So all inserts and such are welcome. Hoping that he has the stars of MLB that hopefully I can get my hands on. Hey, we got a blue. All right. Key Brian Hayes. So these should be non-numbered. I forget what did the box say. They were 1 in 10. Yeah, 1 in 10. So that's pretty good. Considering you only get 7, seven per. Nolan Gorman, rookie. Stars of MLB. Very nice. Ronnie Garcia. We got Nick Pavetta, Raphael Devers, and Joe Barlow. But I would still say that the flagship itself is, you know, not the worst deal as long as you're not going looking for, specifically for parallels and such like that, since obviously they're much harder to get. Uh, but you're still getting a, a ton of cards for the value. You know, 99 cards for 25 bucks. I think is a pretty darn good deal. There's Yachty. He's got a, like a farewell card, as does Albert Pujols. There's Gunner. Yeah, boy. All right, Gunner Henderson. Shohei Otani. It's like my third one of these. Ozzy Albies, Stars of MLB. We have Cleveland Guardians, St. Louis Cardinals, the NL RBI leaders, and unmatched energy in Cleveland. And last pack, first blaster. See if we can get a little bit of luck. Anything? Anything? Any heat left in this bad boy? Grappleman. Corey Seeger. Tristan McKenzie. Hey, a J-Rod. There we go. Nice. Only got one copy of that as well, so I'll take that. Rasael Iglesias. Michael Chavis. Hey, we got a Topps Chrome Stars of MLB. These are always nice. Rafael Devers. And Fernando Tatis Jr. Stars of MLB. Mark Canha. Kyle Hendricks. Ozzy Albies, and Jesse Winker. So not a bad first box. It's uh, ended up getting most of the big rookies, so not complaining there. Let's just move those. So let's dig in. I don't know if that relic is in the top. Let's see if we'll just move it to the back. Even though it's not the coolest thing in the world, maybe have a little bit of suspense, shall we? Joey Votto, Brad Miller, we got a Lou Bob, Evan Kiermaier, Shea Langoliers, Brandon Crawford, Jonathan Aranda, Josh Rojas, Mark Apple, Shohei Otani, Stars of MLB, Welcome to Boston, 
Oh, Michael Harris. There we go. Got a couple of nice parallels of his stuff from my jumbo opening. The reigning NL Rookie of the Year. Cedric Mullins from my O's. Wood. Brian. Haven Smith. Jake Cronenworth. Max Stasi, Daniel Vogelbach, David VR, Ronald Acuna Jr. from 1988, Vlad Jr., already seen that one. Then we got Texas, Chicago Cubs, Dodgers keeping loose pregame, and Toro comes up in the ninth. It's a pretty cool card since it's got J Rod on it. to see if the, the hype is real with that kid. I mean, he is the, he was the AL Rookie of the Year. See what his second year brings us. Shohei. He's got some duplicates here. As obviously everyone knows, tops and their collation issues. Cal Quantrill. Austin Riley is our home run challenge card. Javi Baez. Jeez, these have all been duplicates so far. Aaron Ruff, Atlanta Braves, AL home run leaders, obviously Judge leading that, and Zach Thompson. Come on, give me a different stars of MLB. Ezekiel Duran, Ryan Mountcastle, Skremsky, Hernandez, Gregory Soto, Jordan Alvarez, Tony Gonsolin. Yeah, we got an all aces, Nolan Ryan. Yeah, that's awesome. These cards are so sweet. Look just like a playing card. I know they kind of stole the idea from Panini, but let's face it, it looks so much nicer than the Panini ones. Buxton, again a duplicate. Arias, there's my O's. And Jazz Chisholm Jr. So... Pretty funny, just two blasters and very little, you know, changes or what have you in the stars of MLB. That's kind of sad, of course. Definitely hope for some differences and, you know, some different players because the sets are definitely large enough. You know, the stars of MLB, I think, is what, like 25 or 30 cards per release, something like that. Got another Royal Blue, Anthony Santander. Okay. A little bit of a ding corner to it, but that's all right. And we got another Nolan Gorman. That's at least good. We got two of the rookie. C.J. Abrams, future stars. Mitch Hanniger, David McKinnon, and Marcel Ozuna. Two packs to go. One having the relic, so I guess. Maybe it's just this batch, but it looks like the relic is on top each time. So if you want to switch that to the back like I did, so it's not the first thing you open. Luis Garcia, Juan Soto, Future Stars of O'Neill Cruz again. Oh yeah, Pete Alonso, Adley Rushman. There we go. Sonny Gray, 1988. Oh man, Ozzy Albies, <laughs> Stars of MLB. Got a complete duplicate so far. Ooh, another Kyle Stowers. All right. Taylor Ward and Kyle Gibson. Last pack. Let's see if we can get a little LPM, a little last pack magic. Is there any fire left in this opening? It's at least hope for a nice patch, I guess. Randall Grichuk, Luis Garcia. Albert Almora, Vlad Jr., Seiya Suzuki, Steven Metz, Nick Prado, William Contreras, and... Oh, but it spoiled it already. Corey Seager. So, not bad. No numbered or anything like that, so and just stick her there. 30-30, welcome to the club, Ronald Acuna. And we got a Wander Franco. All right, so that one's different, at least. Stars of MLB. 
not exactly the guy everyone's chasing this year, but I certainly hope he has a bit of a bounce back in his sophomore season. Mets, Royals, and finishing on the AL RBI leaders. So not a ton, you know, to really talk about here. Got a, got a nice number of rookies, a few Adleys. Like I said the commemorative patches are, you know, so-so. Stars of MLB are quite nice, I think, but... Let me know in the comments down below what you think. What was your favorite pull? Have you been able to find these guys in the wild? I'd certainly love to hear from you. And if you've enjoyed this video, definitely head down below. Hit that little subscribe button. Come along for the ride. Check out our other videos. And definitely hit that little like button if you've enjoyed what you've seen here. And that about does it for me. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards signing off. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.